Jillian Mayen here for BTN.com alongside John Crispin and our newcomer, Max Bielfeld. And I want to talk about the best home environment in the Big Ten. This is one of my favorite topics. He's going to upset somebody on this <laughs> one. I know it. It's okay. I played at Penn State. No one expects me to say Penn State, not even Nittany Lions. So it's all right. For those who don't know, John obviously played at Penn State. Max played at both Michigan and Indiana. So you get to have a little bit of a unique perspective. Yeah. Uh, but I do. I love this topic because I love traveling to all of the different venues. And I don't I don't want to say judging, but at this, just kind of getting the you vibe. It's, okay. it's just like you get the vibe and how into the game you get, even when you're there working. So I want to know from you guys who have played in these venues, which ones are the most intimidating and, in your opinion, the best? I'm going to say, so it's all about perspective. And perspective changes not just, you know, with your own experience, but it also changes based on who you're playing. And I go back to 99-2000, my freshman year, and when I went into East Lansing, we had to play Mateen Cleaves and Morris Peterson and the eventual national champions that year. That was the toughest place to play. Why? Because we knew exactly what we were facing, not just in terms of the arena and the atmosphere, but the guys we had to play on the floor. So I think that's, to me, like that jumps out. That, that was the toughest place to play. Why? Because we knew we were probably going to get beat. And the number one thing we wanted to do was show them that we were at least going to compete. So that made it tough. I think going back to some of the Illini games, like, and they were really – playing at a high level. They were top five my sophomore year. And we'd go in there. The Orange Crush was on fire. They had the cards. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they call them, the crush cards or whatever. Somebody will let me know on Twitter. <laughs> they had a list of every single player and digs at each player. And, of course, mine, my brother was better than me, so he obviously <laughs> got my scholarship for me. So I had to hear that the whole game. And it, it makes it fun as much as challenging. You know, but ultimately, the most challenging environments are the ones where you're facing the best teams. Yeah, and you're talking about East Lansing. You should try going in there as a Michigan Wolverine. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That's Yo, a, and, well, as a good team, you're yeah, right. Yeah, that's a whole different level. You know, you, you brought some of those teams in there, and East Lansing was rocking. Um, you know, obviously, Illinois as well. You know, I grew up an Illinois fan. Yeah. You know, my whole family, mom, dad, sisters, aunts, uncles, all went to Illinois. So I went back there. My card said Max Bielfeld, traitor. Great. Yeah. So <laughs> that was pretty much how it went. And, you know, Illinois is tough. East Lansing's tough. I think the loudest game game I've ever been a part of is Michigan's number one, Indiana's number two, at Assembly Hall, and you couldn't hear the person next to you. It was the most rocking environment I think I've ever experienced. You know, I, I was winless when I was at Michigan, and I played at Indiana, I think it was 0-3 like or so, and, and I transferred to Indiana, and I go, you know, 17-0. and 0. So <laughs> there's something to the numbers there, you know, you got to kind of figure it I out. I think but. you would say deductive reasoning points towards that's a good home environment. Yeah, that's, yeah. the Simon Scott Assembly Hall is a tough one. Uh, see, I haven't been to Assembly Hall yet. I haven't gotten an assignment there yet. I got engaged there. Producer. It's a special right. place for me. It, yeah, it it's is a big deal. A, I've heard great things, so I would love to go there. But I was really impressed by the farm in, in um, Champagne. I yeah. just, it was loud. It was a great environment. I, I really enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised. They've got a great there. class coming in next season, too. Mm -hmm. So you can only imagine, you know, the arena just got redone. Students there are big into basketball, especially if you give them something to cheer about. It should be interesting. Mm -hmm. For John, Max, and myself, you can head to btn.com for more highlights, analysis, anything related to Big Ten hoops.